they're invisible to the naked eye. But under a microscope, familiar images are being brought to life in three dimensions by scientists at Vienna's University of Technology. Using laser light and a liquid resin containing light-sensitive molecules, Jan Torgerson and his colleagues have adapted a printing machine for building structures as tiny as grains of sand. The laser is guided by a series of mirrors over the resin, which hardens instantly. We have developed a two-photon polymerization machine. Um, with this we can print out microscopic scale structures um, at a resolution of about 100 nanometers. Um, but our novelty is that we can print actually up to 5 meter per second. And um, this, is a, um, this is much better than conventional setups because they can print in the millimeter per second range. This is some of the 3D printing process in real time. Due to the very fast guiding of the laser beam, 100 layers of around 200 single lines each are produced in four minutes. It's been years in development, but 3D printing is now an extremely sophisticated technology, according to Professor Jürgen Stampfel. Nowadays we can make extremely small structures uh, with, with excellent resolution, uh, three-dimensional structures out of very challenging materials like they are used in, in biomedical engineering or also in, in photonics. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the machines are much more reliable now and much easier to use compared to the beginning of these techniques. It's a concept, says Torgerson, that could be used for the creation of biomedical devices on an industrial scale. We are eagerly trying to develop low toxic resins which can be cured under the two photon condition and these structures can actually resemble biological tissue or biological surrounding very good and we have a couple of publications currently under review which are dealing with this fact so we structure these three dimensional very accurate structures and we are hoping to get a publication and also to get biologists working with us on this very fascinating technique. And the possibilities don't end there. The team are working with industry to further develop the practical applications of nanoprinting as part of the European Commission's Factories for the Future programme. Joanne Nicholson, Reuters.